related to the city and state affordable housing summit. Uh, you know, we, we like to bring stakeholders in to have these types of discussions and, and really uh, invigorate some debate and hopefully spur some policy change. Um, so for folks that aren't familiar with the city and state summits, what are those conversations like and what do you have, what have you gotten out of similar discussions in the past? I've come away inspired. I've come away um, with the, the ability to gather data from all of the city and state uh, summits that I've attended. Um, and it's informed uh, me uh, from a policy perspective, but also from a perspective as a social change agent. Mm -hmm. I think that anybody that attends them, one, you're going to meet um, some of the greatest minds uh, in the state. You're going to meet people who are doing the work. You're going to meet people who are thinking out of the, outside of the box. They're thinking into the future. Uh, oftentimes, uh, there's a lot of people who engage in hindsight, which is 2020. Uh, city and state PA, the summits that I've attended, you have people who have foresight, you have people who have oversight, you have people who are thinking about bridging the technical divide, looking at AI, um, having an intersection of policy with pragmatism. So I'm excited. So I think that anyone who is attending, they're going to see some amazing speakers, some amazing experts in the affordable housing space. I would say that if you are a student of learning, um, I would bring a pen, I would bring a paper, I would bring some pads, I would bring some legal notes to take some notes. Um, and also, uh, whether it's a, a, a regular business card or the business cards that are now on our handheld devices, I would say look forward to networking um, because city and state PA, and you know this, uh, you all create a social justice milieu where people um, all over the state come, they exchange ideals, they exchange best practices, they share evidence-based outcomes. Uh, and then also people are just coming to ask the Socratic question, to ask, how can I learn more? Um, and so that's what I look forward to. I'm excited about the opportunity of the Pennsylvania Human Relations Commission being part of this, um, being thought leaders and partners with city and state PA. Um, I don't have all the answers to your amazing questions. And that's the beauty of walking in truth, love and honesty, is that I look forward to being educated and that's what happens for us here at the Pennsylvania Human Relations Commission. Uh, the city and state PA summits that you all have had, the ones that are really, you know, germane to the work that we do. We, I don't want to use the word still, we borrow some of the, the, the emerging themes. And then what we try to do is intersect it into our work at PHRC because we work on behalf of the people of the Commonwealth.